Hi, I am Dr. Wafa Ibadawi, a senior consultant histopathologist, head of pathology department, AKMICH, KSA. I'll be talking about epithelial neoplasms of the ovary, benign mucinous tumors. Benign mucinous tumors. They include mucinous cyst adenoma, mucinous cyst adenofibroma, mucinous adenofibroma. General background. Mucinous tumors make up 15% to 20% of all primary ovarian tumors. About 80% of those are benign and the remainder 20% consist of borderline tumors and carcinomas. Benign mucinous tumors are composed of cysts and glands lined by gastrointestinal or mullerian type mucinous epithelium, lacking architectural complexity or cytologic atypia. They occur over a wide age range, but are most commonly diagnosed in the reproductive age group with a mean age at diagnosis of 50 years. They are infrequently bilateral, that is, they are unilateral in about 95% and women typically present with abdominal enlargement or pain. Mucinous epithelial tumors may coexist with brenna tumors, mature cystic teratomas, carcinoids, or sortoli ladic cell tumors in up to 5% of cases. They are called collision tumors. KRAS mutations occur in 60% of cases. They are clinically benign and complete excision is curative. Radiology description. MRI shows a right adnexal multilocular cystic lesion. Mucin assisted genomas are usually seen as large multilocular cysts containing fluid of various viscosity. Due to this reason, the loculi of the tumors often show variable signal intensities on both axial T1 and coronal T1 and axial T2 and coronal T2 sequences. This can sometimes give a stained glass appearance. They rarely appear as unilocular cysts. It is important to note that endovaginal ultrasonography is the most practical modality for assessment of ovarian tumors because it is readily available and has a high negative predictive value. Gross appearance. Benign mucinous tumors can reach very large sizes and range from one to more than 30 centimeter. They are composed of unilocular or multilocular smooth lined cystic spaces, often filled with thick and tenacious fluid. The cystic contents are not reliable in determining the type of lining epithelium. Microscopic features. Mucinous cyst adenomas of the ovary are benign multiloculated cystic tumors, composed of variably sized cysts and glands, separated by fibrous septa. 
The septa vary in thickness and are lined by intestinal, more common, or endocervical epithelium. The cysts are lined by a monolayer of columnar epithelium with the basally located bland and small nuclei and abundant apical pale staining intracellular mucinous cytoplasm. The lining epithelial cells lack cytologic atibia, apoptotic bodies, or mitotic activity. Epithelial cell stratification or tufting is absent or minimal, less than 10% of the tumor volume. The lining epithelium resembles that of upper gastrointestinal tract epithelium, most commonly fovula cells, or lower gastrointestinal tract epithelium, often with goblet cells. The lining cells are capable of producing intestinal enzymes such as lipase, trypsin, and amylase, as well as peptide hormones such as serotonin, ACTH, gastrin, and somatostatin. The cyst wall in this mucinous cyst adenoma is lined by intestinal type epithelium with numerous goblet cells that is lower gastrointestinal tract epithelium. Panis cells, neuroendocrine cells, as well as signet ring cells are often admixed in such cases. This photo shows the epithelial lining containing panic cells with xenophilic cytoplasmic granules. This photo shows the epithelial lining containing both goblet cells and argentafin cells with coarse orange red granules in their basal cytoplasm. Gross appearance of mucinous cyst adenofibroma. The sectioned surface appears partly solid with numerous small cysts. Microscopic features of mucinous cyst adenofibroma. It is composed of variably sized and shaped cyst glands lined by a single layer of bland mucinous epithelium within a fibromatous stroma. It could be with or without luteinization. Microscopic features of mucinous cyst adenoma with focal proliferation. Tumors composed predominantly of cystadenoma with less than 10% of borderline mucinous tumor are diagnosed as mucinous cystadenoma with focal proliferation or focal atibia. The focal area less than 10% shows architectural complexity including papillae and tufting or nuclear pseudostratification and crowding. Microscopic features of mucinous cyst adenoma with filiform papillae. Filiform papillae with fibrovascular pores and cysts are lined by a single layer of benign mucinous epithelium. Filiform papillae lack architectural complexity or cytologic atypia. Glands and cysts may occasionally rupture with extravasation of mucin. This is usually accompanied by 
inflammation, histiocytic and or granulomatous stroma response to extravasated mucin, that is mucin granuloma. The mucin in these cases is usually confined to the localized area of rupture and does not continue to accumulate after cystectomy. It is not associated with recurrence. Such a finding must be distinguished from pseudomyxoma ovarii peritonei. Pseudomyxoma peritonei are low-grade appendiceal mucinous neoblasts associated with the pools of extracellular mucin and fibrosis. Gross appearance of a collision tumor with combined mucinous cystadenoma and mature cystic teratoma. Gross view of the cut surface of the tumor with the cystic area and grayish white solid area that represent the teratomatous component in microscopy. Mucinous epithelial tumors may coexist with Brenner tumors, mature cystic teratomas, carcinoids, or sortoli leydig cell tumors in up to 5% of cases. Microscopic features of collision tumor H and E stain shows a solid cystic ovarian parenchyma, partially lined by stratified squamous epithelium, along with the presence of pilocipaceous units. Cystic spaces filled with keratinous debris, with pigment laden macrophages in its wall, and distinct areas of cartilaginous differentiation so that it is a mature cystic teratoma. Many cystic spaces are lined by simple non-stratified columnar cells with abundant intracellular mucin, that is mucinous cyst adenoma. What is a collision tumor? A collision tumor refers to the simultaneous coexistence of two distinct tumors in the same tissue without any transition zone or mixing interface. Collision tumors have been described in various body organs, such as liver, bone, kidney, brain, lung. However, collision tumors in the ovary are rarely seen. Immunohistochemistry Benign mucinous tumors show diffuse membranous cytoplasmic positivity for cytokeratin 7, diffuse membranous cytoplasmic positivity for cytokeratin 20, Diffused nuclear positivity for CDX2. It is a nuclear transcription factor critical for intestinal embryonic development. Prognosis and therapy. Mucinous cystadenomas and cystadenofibromas are clinically benign with excellent prognosis. Complete excision. Cystectomy or oophorectomy is curative. To minimize surgical morbidity, laparoscopic removal may be performed, although many tumors are too large to be removed by this method. These are the references. Thank you.